Hey, what's up? This is Silas. I'm taking my daily walk, and I just wanted to share with you guys some really funny story I just saw. It was Cam Newton, who's a quarterback for the Carolina Panthers, which is an NFL team, National Football League, American football for the international viewers. And that's the one that's kind of like rugby, but it's not. It's kind of like chess also. <laughs> but anyway, so he's a quarterback. He's a guy who gets the ball, throws the ball, or hands the ball off, and then... The people run down the field and the people catch the ball. Those are the wide receivers. So there was, he was being interviewed after a game by a female reporter. And she was asking about how he felt. This might not be the best place to do this video. She was asking about how he felt about um, the development of one's wide receivers. And he said, yeah, after the, after the question, I'll have a link below to the interview. After the question, he kind of stops and he's like, it's kind of funny hearing a female talk about routes. And <laughs> this is one thing I've been noticing as well when it comes to certain sports, especially something like a male sport of, uh, of American football. When you have announcers and play-by-play uh, -play people and reporters in that field who are female, in some cases I wonder why, you, why are they dressed in certain ways? Like you'll see them dressed in certain lace or provocative clothing. I mean, I consider them provocative or many multiple patterns and things like that. And then you look at the males and it's just like suits, plain clothes, that kind of situation. So what is the intention of them dressing in that certain way? Now it goes beyond that, they normally have a situation where in these sports they put some efforts to find people who either coached or played in that game to give some other insider input on it. And there was one very famous announcer named Howard Cosell who had this one saying he never played, he never coached, but he was a great play-by-play -play guy. He was a consummate professional in that sense. And so that's not to say that it can't be done, but I think there are certain situations where it is kind of odd having a female do that. You have certain situations where a female comes in and she's like, oh, I'm a girl this, I'm a girl that, or I'm a female this, I'm a female that. Females themselves make a big deal when they say, the other day there was um, somebody giving a play-by-play -play, um, for Monday Night Football, which is uh, the football game that goes on on Monday. There was a female on the crew. And they made a big deal. They're saying, look, we finally have a female <laughs> announcer. And then now, when Cam Newton says this, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people freaking out and be like, oh my god, I can't believe he's saying this. Why shouldn't a female be able to talk about this? When, on the other hand, they go on about this stuff all the time, about female, the first female this, first female that. So pick one. Either be surprised, <laughs> and this is another term, I think I need to talk about this term, called femprised. Or is this femme prize? Yeah, femme prize. People who are femme prize, when a female does something and then something else happens and then they act shocked in that female way. Like a basic example is you go to school and you major in some postmodernist, like crazy, like, let me try to think, what would it be? African basket, not African basket weaving. Just some random thing, some random postmodernist major that someone would pick. I can't even think them up right now. Somebody normally uses like basket weaving or something. Or you major in something, some dash study, some hyphenated studies, and then you get surprised when you go out in the field and nobody's willing to pay you a quote unquote living wage for it. You get femme surprised about that situation. You get femme surprised about there's some gender wage gap. When it's like, hey, what did you major in? What did you choose to major in? So anyway. Shall I have a video about Fem Prize? I think I need a definition series where I just talk about that. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think about certain sports? Have you seen the Legends Football League? Probably show some video of that. I was, I was, I was recording and thinking, look, these that's the female football league where they wear lingerie. And I was thinking, okay, they were trying to get the situation where they're doing the roster announcements and they're doing those like arms crossed things, mean mugging the screen trying to look like tough and I'm like look I'm not buying it ladies I mean tried to watch it it was like uh, what six on six or something tried to watch the game and I just I just couldn't I don't know you want to call me sexist you want to call me male chauvinist but I could not do the whole seeing women even if they were dressed in that scantily way hitting each other in that way I'm like it's it's not I'm not buying it not only is it not as competitive as a high school game but it's just Something in me just definitely could not quite get to that. So yeah, well that's it about Cam Newton and female reporters and them prizing.
back to my walk. People look at me weird, like wondering what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs>